So deadlifting a heavy one rep is often really, really fun. Not much feels quite as cool as doing that, but most of the time you don't wanna get stuck testing your strength, testing your one RM, your one rep max, testing how much weight you can use. You wanna spend more time building that strength. And, and to do that, you're gonna need a few more reps, right? Because strength has somewhat of an endurance component to it. And so you have to kind of figure out how am I gonna do my reps? Do I wanna touch and go off the ground or do I wanna reset between each rep? Now, I've kind of always been, you know, most of my development, I've thought that the, the touch and go is kind of like hands down the good one to do because it'll get you more reps practicing how to get that tension uh, started in the bottom rather than uh, turning a, a RDL from the top and just hanging on to that tension and coming back up. Now, if you're doing one, two, three, four, or five reps, I do like the idea of resetting each rep, maybe not standing up and doing your whole ritual and everything again, but kind of letting the bar relax, losing a little bit of your tension, and then refinding it before you push and go again. It works really well, especially for powerlifters, because you need that exposure, right? When you're doing your powerlifting event, you don't get the second rep, you only get the first rep. You only get to do one rep, so you need that rep to be as optimal as possible. And so you want to practice through it. Um, if I am doing just general training, though, is there any real issue with doing a touch and go off the ground? Most of the time I would say no. You wanna make sure that you're not just slamming everything around because uh, oftentimes what happens is stuff starts to bounce and you lose your bar path, right? The bar will start to drift away from you. You'll get stuck on your toes, right? You have the, the various inertia and various momentum that's going all over the place, but you also have your fatigue building up. And when you put those things together, it's very easy to mess it up. So especially as you get later on in your set, you probably wanna slow down a little bit. You wanna keep that control so that you know you're doing it correctly or effectively, and you're not losing your bar path. You're not losing your leverage while you're doing everything. Anything higher than six reps, definitely, I am doing a touch and go, because. <laughs> I don't know if you've ever done a high or pretty high rep set of deadlifts, but it's pretty exhausting <laughs> because each rep, especially as it's heavy, can be pretty long. Even if it's only like you say only two seconds, but two seconds is a really long time to have what 200, 300 pounds, 400, 500 pounds, depending on how strong you are on your on your back, basically. Um, so the, the touch and go has its own variation, or it has a, had its own benefits. Uh, the other big thing that I do want to mention, when you're doing those higher rep sets, it's okay to get the metabolic fatigue. It's okay to get that burning sensation in your legs. Um, and, and the touch and go kind of encourages that, right? You, don't, you never let go of the tension and the blood never perfuses everywhere. It never clears out all that stuff. And so it builds up that burning and it gets you used to it. And it makes you a little bit tougher, but it also signals a little bit more hypertrophy stimulus. It tells your body to put on more muscle. And so when I get down here, even though I might be slowing down to make sure I keep my, uh, my you know, bar path and tension and... Uh, just leverage like we were talking about. Um, I might just tap, like maybe there's broken glass on the ground, and I just initiate back up. I rip that bar right up. Big things are, if I'm doing higher rep sets, I do want more fatigue, I do want more metabolic fatigue. And if my goal is to pick up one rep, then I probably want to reset each rep. And so those are pretty much my thoughts on pausing versus stop and going during your deadlift. If you have any other thoughts, please leave them in the comments below.